Hello everybody and welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to build my rainbow fountain, or you could call it a disco fountain, but thanks to Title 25 we now have stained glass. I also just recently did a colored beacon over there, a disco beacon, so it's pretty much the same exact thing. However, it is really useless, and I really wouldn't build this on survival because you need a lot of beacons. So as you can see, we got a plain fountain right here. However, we flip down this lever, we are introduced with an amazing colorful i don't know what to call it but it looks rainbowy <laughs> as you can see each one is just going over and over because what's going on down there is if we actually go right over here we can see a bunch of pistons down there pushing stained glass in a circle perfectly i put two rows just so you won't have to see any white see how the white stops right there thanks to the second row so we're going to jump right into this build guys because it's going to take a very long time to teach you guys how to build this and it is very useless so when we flip up this lever it will turn it off and also all the beacons will go away as well so come on go away Go oh, away. Oh there we go. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's start building this thing. All right, guys. So for this build, we're going to need to start off with a seven by seven spacing. And you are also going to have to dig down seven. Now, this is going to get a lot bigger than this. Just giving you a heads up. And I will not be giving the resources needed for this build because it's ridiculous. You're going to probably be not building this on survival. So once you've gotten your seven by seven spacing and you've dug down seven, come all the way to the bottom and fill up the whole bottom row with iron. This whole area has to be filled up with iron because we are going to be using a lot of beacons and each beacon needs at least nine pieces of iron to activate. So go ahead and fill up this whole entire bottom area with iron. Next, what I want you to do is take out your pistons and then go to any one of these corners. It really doesn't matter. We're going to go over to this corner, just count up one block and then over one block and put a piston here like that and do that on every single side. So up over like that up over like that and one more time like so and then above every single piston we're going to do it one more time so skip a block and put another piston right above each individual piston like that that's going to be our little areas that are going to be pushing around our stink to make that awesome rainbow effect next what we're going to do is take out our block of choice i'm going to be using quartz and you're going to fill in your whole entire walling with your block of choice so if go ahead i'm going to pretty much speed through this guys because literally it's going to take a pretty long time for me to fill in this entire area but literally just go around the entire area all the way to the top right here until you are completely done filling in your whole entire area with your block of choice all right guys so once you have your whole entire area filled in like i do find whichever side you want your lever to be on now i want my lever to be on this side so what i'm going to do is just dig out this one little area right here just to remember that this is the side i want my lever to be on so the side you want your lever to be on go down by the pistons and now we're going to go ahead and put in our stained glass colors now you can use whatever colors you like it really doesn't matter however i'm going to be using roy g biv i'm going to be using red orange yellow green blue indigo and violet obviously we don't have indigo and violet so i'm just going to be using purple and pink so off these pistons right here where i know my lever is going to be back there i'm going to put my red stain here and my red stain here now top layer and the bottom layer need to be the exact same colors if you do not do it that way then it's not going to work the way you want it to work and these are the only pistons that should have stained glass in front of them no other pistons over here should have stained glass in front of them so red red orange orange yellow yellow green green then we're going to skip ahead of these pistons right here and put blue blue purple purple and pink pink and then i'm just going to do the same colors again one more time so skip those pistons right there red red orange orange yellow yellow green oops, green green blue blue purple purple just like that all right guys so once you've gotten all your colors in, we're now going to have to open up an area for our redstone this is going to be a little bit annoying but you're going to have to dig out another three area going around the entire thing except for this side where this side is you're going to have to come out four so literally come out three around the whole entire thing guys so right here so one two three around the whole entire thing one two three and you're literally gonna have to dig this whole area out and you have to dig down at least six so what i mean by that is you're going to have to dig down at least six so one two three four five six like that and you're gonna have to dig out this whole entire area so what i'm going to do is i'm going to speed up this part of the video and then i'll come back once i'm done digging out my whole entire area all right guys and i am back and i have dug out the entire thing as you see i went a three area around the whole entire thing and dug down six except for over here where our lever's going we had to come out four now where our lever is going to be going is where we're going to be starting we're going to come right down here to where this bottom piston is we're going to put a block right here with some redstone dust on top of it and then put a repeater going into that block 
on one tick delay and then put redstone dust down here and cut it off and literally we're going to bring this down all the way to over here where this piston is we're going to put a block here redstone dust and put a repeater going into it on two ticks delay sorry it's not one tick delay guys it's two ticks delay i messed up there and then we're going to do the same thing again we're going to put a block up here dust and wrap this all the way around to over here put a repeater coming out of it on two ticks delay block in front of it redstone dust block here bring this all the way around to this last piston right here peter on two ticks delay block in front of it with redstone dust on top of it and now we're going to come up here and do pretty much the same exact thing except with a different line we're going to now go around this entire thing with a line just go around the whole entire thing like this with one line now right here at the end where our lever is going to be going make sure you don't connect these two together and what we're going to do is just put a block here put a repeater going into it on two ticks delay and then put redstone dust going all the way around i'm going to do this all the way around guys put a block in front of this piston with a repeater going into it on two ticks delay bring this all the way around put a piston right here two ticks delay with a block in front of it and then redstone dust all the way down here with a repeater on two ticks delay going into a block next to that piston Next, what I want you to do is come down here and put a block behind this two tick delay repeater with three pieces of redstone dust, one, two, three, then put a repeater going this way on two ticks delay with a block in front of it and then a block above it like that and then bring redstone dust going all the way up to the top connecting to this two tick delay repeater right here next we're going to put a repeater going into this redstone dust on three ticks delay with a comparator running into the back of it and then we're going to bring our redstone dust going up into this comparator like that and then set your comparator into subtraction mode then we're going to skip a block and delete right into here and put a furnace right here with an item inside of it doesn't really matter what it is just put one item inside of your furnace and then we're going to go ahead and put a block right here and put a sticky piston facing inwards towards that block next what i want you to do is come up three blocks from the sticky piston so one two three just like that with redstone dust along all the blocks and then we're going to come up one more right here with redstone dust next what you're gonna have to do is put a block of choice right above this redstone dust like that and then put a lever going off the side of that block now we can go ahead and test it out to make sure our colored wheels are working so all you have to do is flip down this lever right here and these should start going off in a circle now the top one should be going a little bit slower than the bottom one don't worry about that it's supposed to be going that slow so as long as all your colors are not getting messed up and they're right above each other so if you turn it off all your colors should be back in the same place so we're going to click it up and as you can see the yellow is still above the yellow the green is still above the green let's do it one more time flip it down it'll start going around in a nice circle and then go ahead and flip it up and all the colors should be okay so the orange is above the orange the yellow is above the yellow all that good stuff so that's all working guys next we're going to go ahead and put in our sticky pistons so we don't have to see our beacons all the time so we're going to come right down here and right above all our stink starting see where our lever is right there we're going to literally just delete these four blocks one two three four and do that all the way around guys so skip this one above the piston and go one two three four skip the one from the piston one two three four skip the one from the piston one two three four just like that and our sticky pistons are going to be going right back here so literally what i like to do is i like to just go like this and then just bring our sticky piston over make sure to delete this one there shouldn't be one above that block and literally go around the whole entire thing with sticky pistons like that and do that the whole way around guys just go like this and put your sticky pistons in and then make sure to delete to delete that one right above this block right here and then we're going to do it two more times so sticky pistons all along this area right here like this and then delete this one right over here and then we're going to do it one more time it's the one right above this block right there and then bring this all the way down like that and come on there we go and then delete this block right here next what i want you to do is take out your blocks of choice and put them right back in front of these sticky pistons so we don't have to see all those pistons like this it's beautiful once you've gotten all your sticky pistons put in what i want you to do is take out blocks and literally just bring them around the entire outside of your sticky pistons like that see how it's right next to these ones literally we're just going to bring this all the way around the backs of all of our sticky pistons like this see how it looks just like this guys it's supposed to look exactly like this so go ahead and go around the whole entire thing once you've gone around the whole entire thing guys do it one more time so literally just go off the sides of these blocks and go around one more time so once you have fully gone around twice what i want you to do is put a repeater behind every single one of your sticky pistons just like this so literally go behind every single one and just put a repeater on one tick delay behind every single one then coming off this block right here with the redstone dust we're going to go ahead and take out a redstone torch so take out your redstone torch and put a redstone torch right here off the side of this block 
and then bring redstone dust going around the whole entire thing going into every single one of these repeaters now obviously it's not going to reach the entire way so we are going to have to add a repeater in. so first just bring around the whole entire redstone dust and then we'll add our repeaters in so as you can see the redstone does not reach around the whole entire thing right here it stops so what I, all i like to do is just put a repeater right here to activate these ones and then come over here where the redstone doesn't activate and then put another one right there and now all of them are closed so now that this whole entire area is closed up we can now go ahead and add in our beacons now you don't have to put the beacons in every single spot but i highly recommend doing it because it looks really good so we're going to go ahead and put beacons along every single spot just like this and we should be completely done now why did those ones activate right there that is not supposed to be happening <laughs> man you gotta love minecraft glitches so let's go ahead and just put some blocks here maybe that will stop it there we go that is not supposed to be happening like that but there you guys go that is the whole entire thing done so when we flip down our lever it will open up and then it will start twirling the lights like it's supposed to and then when we flip up the lever it will close everything thus turning off all our lights there we go so last but not least right above these blocks right here we're gonna go ahead and put some glass do not use stained glass here just use normal glass here and then right underneath it we're gonna take out blue stained glass and go like this and now we're gonna go ahead and put our fountain in so all i did was i just went up like this and then uh, go up eh, how high did i go i think i went one left that's fine and then just delete all these blocks like this there we go and then place in some water and then delete that block right there so the water completely goes through so now if you want to go down here you could see through it and then when you're up here you can't see any of the stained glass i don't know why it works like that i don't know if it's supposed to be doing that but as you see you can't see nothing and then you can see you can't see it you can see it. you can't see it so that's it guys you are completely done so flip down the lever and now you got your awesome rainbow fountain or your disco fountain and now all we literally have to do is just fill in this area so right here where this tour torches and the redstone dust is we're going to have to use a slab here do not use a normal block or it will ruin everything so take out your slab and put a slab right here and then put a slab right here above that torch as well and then literally just take out whatever blocks you're using depending on what your slab is probably and just literally wrap it around the whole thing until it is completely filled in so there is the entire thing filled in so we flip down this lever our rainbow fountain activates and hey let's activate this one as well oh why are there blocks missing here let me put those back like that there we go so now we have two rainbow fountains act man that actually hurts my eyes a lot but there you guys have it that's how you build my rainbow slash disco fountain if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys peace